Hi, I'm Mary Kinlock. Uh, today we're going to do a carnation. And here's what you're going to end up with. First thing I did was I took the sheet of carnation petals and I sprayed it with Design Master spray paint, both sides, and then hung it to dry. I do this outside on a piece of cardboard so that I don't make a big mess. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the petals out of the sheet and to do that you just touch the, the connection point and they just come right out. Okay, then I'm going to take my really fine pointy tweezers and fold each one of these petals lengthwise. This flower is uh, tedious, but a lot of them are. Um, but the results are just gorgeous. Okay, I take a 30 gauge paper covered wire, dip the very tip of the petal in white glue only, and then I set it on the edge of the tip there. I don't use Zappagap unless it's something that I really have to, where I need an instant, instant bond. But these petals, they will <clears throat> usually cooperate. If you find that they don't and they're sliding around, you can use the white glue Zappagap method. Okay. Now. Okay, usually about three goes around the tip of the um, wire. And then you just continue building by placing them um, in between. Well, here I'll show you. Here's one that I have started and was building up. So I'm going to put it, the next petal, stacked in between the, um, and I don't know how to say this <laughs> for some reason, um, so that you, you keep piling up more and more and more petals to make it fuller and fuller. Um, now, the one thing, once it's dry, and you have a lot of petals that are um, kind of just look like little L shapes, you can tweak them. Give them a little twist and scrunch. Remember, this is paper. Paper doesn't, you know, want to fall apart. Not unless it's not dry. Okay. Um, the way I got the uh, pink highlights on, on the flower so I took a um, pastel and a blending stump and I just scraped the blending stump on the chalk pastel and then on the edges of the flower petal. And you just keep doing that until you get the amount of color that you want. And I think you can still buy these um, pastels one instead of a whole set. So just, you know, buy the pinks and colors that you want to highlight like this with. Okay, then the next thing that I did was I took some gel medium. You see me use this a lot. Um, it, when you open the jar, it looks like cold cream, the old-fashioned cold cream. And you scoop some of it out and put it in a, another container with um, this paint I used uh, a leaf green. Um, the calyx bottom part of the um, carnation is uh, a real light leaf green. So I take a little scoop of this out 
when I get the flower as full as I want it. This is not as full as I would want it, but I'm going to just show you for demonstration purposes here. I scoop up some of the uh, green gel medium with a paintbrush. Hopefully you can see this. And then I lay it on underneath the flower. And you kind of have to twirl it a little bit so that you now see how you get that little um, bulgy green area underneath the flower. Okay? And that is a carnation. A carnation has tiny little sliver leaves that you can um, add to it if you need to and in an arrangement um, it, it adds a little bit of greenery. The other thing that you can do with these petals is dianthus. Its other name is Sweet William. I've always called it that. I have it listed as Sweet William. Um, so this one, instead of the folding these petals lengthwise, you're going to fold just the very tip. Now this one I am going to use the Zappa Gap because it needs to be bonded instantly. Okay, so I, I bend over the little point, dip it in a little bit of white glue, a little bit of Zappa Gap, and right on the edge of the uh, tip of the wire. Okay, um, three, four, five. This one has five petals. Most flowers, when you get the real thing, um, they have five petals. Some um, like to be strange and have six, but usually when you look at them, they're two layers of threes. So there a lot of time for the majority of the time there's an odd number. Which I always found um, kind of aggravating because four will fit nicely. It's sometimes getting that fifth petal in That can really be a pain. Okay, so when you put the, you've got three here, and now the fourth. See how four fits so nicely, but I'm going to kind of move it over a little bit to make a, a tiny space for, for that fifth petal. Sometimes it helps to kind of look underneath as you're making it. Okay. And there it is, that fifth petal in there. Now I'm going to let it dry. And if I have to do any tweaking, I can always straighten up the, the petals a little bit by giving them a little dimension. Just take the tips of those, this paper and just kind of mash it and tweak it. And it gives the, the flower some dimension so it doesn't look so flat. Now for the, the little stamens, um, you've seen me use this um, in other flowers. If you've seen any of my other videos, 
I use little white um, stiffened silk embroidery floss. Okay, and the silk embroidery floss, I cut it up in little small pieces and I keep it in a little container so that now I'm ready to put some stamens in this flower and white glue, zap -a gap there's one there's two now if you notice these are real long we're going to trim them three There's usually five. So we get those five little threads in there. Now they, they look a little funky when they're so long. When you should let them dry before you cut on them because now when I do this, I may make some fall out. So they're dry, and you're going to just trim them down to a normal place. A whole lot easier to trim them than to try to pick up those little teeny pieces. And with the Zappa Gap, you can make them stand up like that very easy. Okay, now the... Um, same for the um, underneath of the flower. I'm not really sure. I just tried to Google to find out if they call this a calyx. Um, usually a calyx on a flower like a rose is shaped like a, a star and it's like a, a part of a leaf. But the um, some flowers have a uh, an underneath green part that is just a bulgy little fat Thing. Okay, now there was a lot of water on my brush, so that looks even bigger than it will when it dries. It will shrink so that it'll be a lot, a lot smaller. So you can tell on this one that it shrunk. Okay, then the next thing I would do with white. Uh, paint mixed with the gel medium is just touch the very tips of those um, with white, not green like this. And then it kind of adds a little bit of um, extra detail that is really pretty. Okay, that's it for making Sweet William, Dianthus, Carnations, and I hope you enjoy making all these flowers. Thank you. Bye.